Hello, this is Ladislav Smola. I'm a Red Hat engineer, and today I will show you the new features in ManageNQ around networking and topology view. So we have a new top-level tab networks in here with all the networking sections, the, all the inventory we can collect from all the providers. Let's start with the topology view to have the high-level view of all the providers. So you can see it's quite a lot of data and my monitor isn't that big so let's just filter it out and check the basic relations we are interesting interested in vms and connection to subnets and taggings so we can see we have a two tags that that are connecting our providers and they are collecting the subnets so let's pick them up There is also connection to VM. Okay, so let's look at the tags. This is environment prod, so this is our production environment. So you can see all the subnets under production environment here. And this is environment dev, so you can see basically the whole development environment here. And it's tagged across providers, so you can see VMs in that environment from Azure, OpenStack and Amazon. Okay, so let's look at uh, other relations in the topology view, but let's drill down into just one provider, for example, OpenStack for now. And here you, ha you have a link to the topology view. Right, so it's much smaller. So let's go one by one to show all the relations. So we have seen this, with this we, we can nicely see how all the VMs are connecting to subnets, so we are using mainly just one subnet, that is not very good. We can see the security groups that are being used, so they are interconnected a lot, which is not very good, so this subnet seems pretty clean with all the VMs under one security group. we can see uh, cloud networks so let's see this one this cloud network is called network private it has two subnets and here we have network called network private free and it has one subnet and one vm in there okay so on top of that we can show network routers so you can see this those two subnets are connected to a router core, called router and that router has public network as its gateway it has a public subnet so this subnet is used for generating floating IPs and it has another router connected to that which connects another two another two subnets and one of them is our other subnet with VM right so a public network two routers connected to that and subnets connected to those routers and on top of that we can show also floating IPs so those floating IPs are connected to the public network and then to individual VMs right so this VM has this floating IP and it's connected to this network or we can just hide the networks and just see which VMs has the flight floating IP and which not maybe cleaner to get rid of everything else and just see it like that we have subnets, VMs, and floating IPs connected to them. And with this we can see the floating IPs and the connections to the, to the public network. All right, the last connection is cloud tenants. So we can browse what tenants are used for the VMs. So 
we can see all the VMs we have are under one tenant right now. So all of that is also visible in table view.